be, I feel like I have been literally saying that for six months, but this is Minnesota winter. It is cold out there and I am looking for a big shot of energy. And so we're gonna talk neutrals. This is always such a fun topic and neutrals are such a huge trend as we go into spring season. Wanted to give you some ideas on how to style, mix and match. Yes, you can mix creams and whites and ecrus and grays and blacks. All can go together. You can do monochromatic. You can break it up a little bit with levels, textures. There's so many ways to style it. We're going to talk about some easy ideas. And we're, of course, you know me, going to talk about a few little dares that I have up my sleeve as well. So let's talk about the look I've got on today. Could it get any easier than this? Could it be any cuter than this? I don't think so. This is the Corey sweatshirt. I absolutely love this. It's like nods to varsity in this fabulous color palette. So a white ground with a heather gray, a black, and this yummy, yummy ecru. True to size, I would say this is not a hyper relaxed fit. I'm wearing my normal size and I'm loving that because it doesn't feel sloppy and oversized. I paired it back to my favorite ecru jean. This is the Brie Straight from Edwin. Lots and lots and lots of stretch in this puppy. So if you are hesitant to put on a lighter jean this time of year, I get it. Did not drag myself out of bed this morning to do my workout and I'm regretting it already. It's always such a good way to start your day, isn't it? Unless you just can't do it, which this morning just didn't happen. But I love it paired back to this. I think it's so fun. It picks up this great little color and these are a really easy trend to slide into in this silhouette because the fit is so fabulous. It's not a super wide straight, a little bit more tailored. So if you're still kind of towing the line between that skinny and that straight, this is a really nice one to do and bra hem. So if it's too long on you, chop that puppy off, show a little ankle, good to go. Now in this, in the Ecru, I'm wearing my true size. I find with Edwin, they stretch. So I like to wear my true size because I know they're gonna give throughout the day. Let's talk about the sneaks because these are a blowing out. This is the Daytona from Gola. Have you seen a cuter sneaker? Come on guys, these are so darn fun. I'm gonna slip one off just so you can see it up close and personal. I love the neutral detail of this. That little <coughs> rise is so fun. So cute with this kind of camel taupey color and then your white and your cream. It's taking all this fun color and popping it into one. There was that fun little shoe, like shoelace tie secret that I've been doing. I have to do a reel on this. I know, I know, I owe that for you guys. You've been asking for it. Super easy way to just not have to tie your sneakers. Look at that, flipped right on, done and done. Okay, sweatshirt, ecru jeans, a sneaker. Casual, easy breezy, fun, fun, fun look to wear. Another way to kind of switch this up is to go into a casual sweater. So I have a couple of really fun options today to run through. First is this great little cream sweater. Now what I love about this is that it's a fun way to kind of dress it up or play it safe and a little bit more casual. So crochet sleeve, v-neck body, and then solid shaker knit body in the front and in the back. The question I know on this one is what bra do you wear underneath this? I wear a nude bra, it's going to disappear underneath that knit and that v-neck line is so pretty. Great detail on the sleeve of this one. So also one of my favorites for this time of year when it's sometimes chilly, sometimes warm, you're a little stuck on what to wear. I can see wearing this, of course, back to a great little ecru jean. Also, of course, if you wanted to add a little edge to it, a little scratch, it'd be super cute with a black jean. Fun one to wear. Now this sweater, I know you loved this, a great little cardi. Jamie was wearing this on our live on Monday. Did she look incredible in this? I mean, it was such a fun one to pop on. This is a great way to do neutrals if you like a little bit more color. And I know that sounds kind of like, I'm talking out of both sides of my mouth, but what I think is great about this is that it's so soft. So you've got your great cream, a taupe, a deeper, almost camel, your kind of khaki tone, and I think you just get that kind of touch of green. So really, really easy to wear, layered over a simple little tank. Now I have on underneath this guy, that great Z Supply tank that we love, love, love. Comes in a couple of colors. White would be fabulous under this. It also comes in black. I'm really digging though, this color underneath this cardigan is a great way to pick up those neutral tones. 
And again, pair it back to your Ecru denim and it's such an easy little look to wear. Great volume on the sleeve of this one too, so pretty. Okay, then the last sweater, and you knew I was gonna bring on a dare. Gotta break it out early so you can get on board with it. Sweater set, but not the sweater set that you wore a long time ago. This is way cooler and so much more fun. Brand new sweater set, this is from Everive. Absolutely love this because you're gonna laugh. A sweater set can be sexy. It can, I'm telling you, when it's done this way, it's amazing. So this is taking one of my favorite trends for spring, neutrals, and pairing it back to another unbelievably versatile piece, that fitted tank. So we're taking this beautiful knit tank, layering a striped cardi over, break it up, wear it together, so flattering with that square neckline, bra friendly, hits you just below the waist, so, so pretty. So what I love about this is all the ways you can wear it. Take this tank, pair it underneath a blazer, it becomes a really fun textural layer. Wear it together as a set. Take the Cardi, wear it on its own, pair a different tank underneath. Dress it up, dress it down. It would be great with a little pair of destructed denim to add some edge or even a wide leg would be so cute. Love, love, love this guy. It's so pretty. What was the name of it again? I will tell you, it's a really good question. This is the Kiki Cardigan set. So it comes as a set. You don't need to buy two separate pieces, which is lovely. Absolutely love this. And I also find that this guy runs true to size. It's a more of a, I'd say a hip length um, or low waist length. So really pretty with the high rise. Also, again, I love balancing the proportions of this with a wide leg pant it would be so great. Is it pretty lightweight, Heidi? You know, it is. I think all of the sweaters that I just walked through are really light, which is great. So not heavy. So again, this is one of those pieces that works really hard for you. So are you taking a quick little getaway trip? You want to bring a layer, but you don't want it to be just like your standard solid cardi. This is a fun piece to bring because it goes back to so much. And you can, again, break up that cami and wear it a bunch of different ways as well. Like wear it on its own as a top with a great pair of flares. And now you've got this really chic look, right? That would be so fun to wear. Okay, I have a really fun question for you. Ooh, yeah. Amber says she's buying a pair of denim this time of year. If you could pick one pair, what would it be? It's so hard. It's so hard. I mean, this time of year being like this week. <laughs> no, 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 I'm just teasing you. Okay, that's a really, really good question. So I've been feeling two different styles that I've been gravitating towards again and again that have made a huge refresh update in my closet. So I'm going to give you two choices, Amber. Okay. So my first would be a pair of Ecru white or cream denim. And here's why. I just think it's something you don't have in your closet. You definitely don't have an updated, if you go white, you don't have an updated silhouette, so that's where you can lean into like a fun flare. But I think this Ecru trend is really, really interesting. It's an easy way to wear lighter denim, lighter color denim, this time of year, because it doesn't feel so glaringly white. It's shockingly versatile which I really love about it. I mean, it looks great with black, it looks great with gray, it looks great with color. So it's a really fun one to kind of play with. And there's so many great new updated silhouettes like this Bree Straight. So kind of a two for there, right? You get your straight leg and you get your Ecru. Now, choice number two, and this is not in any particular order. If I was going to get a second pair of denim, or if I already had my Ecru, because maybe I bought them genuinely, and I'm looking for a February update, I would get a wide leg or a flare. This, to me, I have been shocked. I got my first pair of wide leg probably last December, and we got our first pair, and I was like, oh, I don't know, I think I'll wear them. I have to break the cycle, because I am putting these puppies on every single day. Absolutely love them. So be it from Amo, be it from Edwin, get a flare. There's so many great options. This is from AG. This is um, the Alexis boot. This puppy runs long, so for those of you that are long-legged, we heard you and the flare is back and it is full length and it is amazing. But I'm loving really anything that has like a nice wide leg. This is the Amo version in more of a cream color. This is more of a straight wide leg versus your flare from the AG. There's also cropped versions which are great. And one of the things I really like about a wide leg that's so nice for petites is that because it is wide all the way down, 
if it is too long for you, you can just chop it and you don't lose that kick that you get from a boot cut or a flare. It can be a little bit trickier to find that perfect one for petite. Says thank you. She's traveling and wanted a ring. So that's good. So fun. Okay. All right. So we talked sweaters. Easy way to kind of go into this neutral trend. I want to talk for just a hot second about kind of neutral staples. The pieces that you're going to wear again and again. So first one I'm going to pull out is this sundry white hoodie. Now here is why I love this. I've had this sweatshirt in other colors. I've had it in navy. I've had it in gray. What I think is really fun about white is how easy this is to layer. Now, make it into a set. Pop it on over your little white tag from Z Supply. It becomes kind of a casual knitted twin set. Wear it underneath a denim jacket. It's lightweight enough that it doesn't have a lot of bulk or height, like heft to it. So it's an extra fun layer. I talked a little bit about going to LA uh, on my live this week. I go every single month. This is one of the pieces I love to bring with me because it's easy to throw on over a t-shirt, under a jacket, and I don't feel super bulky and heavy, but it gives me a little bit more warmth. Great little pull, and then I think this detail of that little neon hit is so darn fun. Um, the string and the string is cream. So you get white and cream kind of mixed together. White denim jacket. Okay, another great piece. So, we love our denim jackets. We know that we make them work real hard for us. And if you happen to catch, I'm going to reference it again, my live that I did on Tuesday night. So, so fun. We talked a lot about the great pieces you need for travel. Denim jacket is a staple. Mix it up a little bit and bring a white. I think white can elevate a look a little bit more. This guy from Paige has some really nice stretch in it and that raw hem makes it so chic and so easy to wear. You can even pop it on over the sweatshirt that I'm wearing as a great little layer. You know me, I'm gonna give you a dare. So here's a fun staple layer that I think everybody needs, brand new, just came in from every a trench. Now this is a spring item that everybody needs to have in their closet. So here's why I think our version is the best, because it is. Number one, super soft drapey fabric. So it's got great movement to it, really, really chic, no belt. One of the things that drives me bananas about trenches, I've always got that belt flapping around. What do you do with it? Do you tie it in the back? Do you tie it around your waist? It's tricky, right? I love, love, love that our buyer, Melissa, thought long and hard about how to take that trench and make it even better for our lifestyle. She put in this fabulous, I'm gonna open it up all the way so you guys can see the inside, this fabulous channel pull. So it gives you shape without all the fuss of the belt. Now, what is so fun about a good trench is how it elevates literally any look. Throw it on over a dress, Hello Paris, I'm coming for you. Put it on over a sweatshirt, chic, unexpected layer. Put it on over a button down, a really fun, put together New York Nolita look. I love a good trench because it really is a classic staple. This guy is great because it's more of a creamy khaki than that darker khaki, so I think it's gonna carry you all through spring season. Again, check out that great detail in the back with that pole, it's so fun. You've got your great pockets on the side and that double breasted closure if you meet those chillier days and you need an extra layer. Now, I talked about that white sweatshirt. Here is how I would layer it. If I'm wearing a tee, I've got my great little hoodie and then I pop on my trench over. Those are all the layers that you need for a trip that you are taking. Great for kind of a casual work option. So versatile, so easy, so you get your great little hoodie, your Z Supply tank, your trench, and you are good to go. Dang, this jacket's cute. Right? It's a good one. It's a really good one. So, a really fun jacket to kind of put into your rotation. We're going to be seeing a lot of these as we get to spring, but I'm telling you, this one is my favorite. And so excited that it's under Edward, so it's exclusively ours. Okay. A classic, classic way to do neutrals is to take that great white shirt and turn it on its head. So I've got a couple of really fun options. If you caught my stories last week, I was wearing this beautiful blouse on stories. Mallory Wegman also wore this on the front cover of our February catalog. So why do we love it? 
statement sleeve, poplin fabrication, placket covered button front. So I think that dresses it up and elevates it just a bit and really lets the sleeve be the star. Not too long, so a really easy one to tuck in to both your mid-rise and your high-rise denim. And I love this kind of open neckline. So you get some feminine gathering through here, plus that puff sleeve is so, plus that puff sleeve. That was a lot of piece in a row. So chic. Now, totally different feel and look when it comes in black. Now, one of my favorite color combinations right now is doing more of an ecru or a neutral bottom back to black. Black and white is always classic and chic. Mix it up a little bit with your ecru. Same silhouette, same top, just done in black. It feels a little more kind of going out to me. If you like a darker color on top, really, really chic. Absolutely stunning. And you guys, at under 90 bucks, this blouse, the construction is just beautiful. It feels like it should be double the price. It's such great quality. So one of my favorites there. Now, on the other side of the spectrum, if you want to go with something a little more casual for that button down look, it's your cloth and stone gauze top. So again, this was another one I talked about is a great top for takeaway and an easy one to mix and match. This is the gauze button down from cloth and stone. It comes in this beautiful white color. I think this top runs a little bit slim. So the way I like to wear it, I go up a size so I can be super versatile. I can tie it in a knot, throw it on with a pair of cutoffs. I can tuck it in fully with a pair of jeans, maybe open it up a little bit more and put on a great necklace and it feels more going out. I can wear it as a cover up for my swimsuit on the beach. So, so easy to wear so many ways. Now white, and then we just got in, da, 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 this beautiful neutral color. So they call this, that one's with the actual sand. I think that's actually a great description. So a little bit darker than ecru, a little bit like taupier, sandier than like your creamy, creamy ecru. A really fun, pretty way to kind of update this guy. Obviously the exact same shirt. Again, I think it runs a little small, so I like to go up a size in this one. And the best part about gauze being a thing is that not only does it add beautiful texture to a neutral head to toe outfit, but it also is wrinkle resistant. So even if it gets kind of wrinkly in your bag, if you're bringing it on vacation, nobody knows, nobody notices. So cute, so fun, right? Okay, what about those great knit tops? Everybody needs an easy, easy knit top for their closet and their wardrobe something you can go back to again and again, but I want it to be fun, I want it to be a little bit more exciting. So I've got three really kind of across the spectrum versions. We're gonna start with most casual and go to maybe most date night look. So most casual, a fun way to bring in just a little pop of black. This is from Goldie. So crew neckline, puff sleeve, but check out the embroidery on that. So fun in black. A really, really cute top now. I think this is great. Again, back to Echo, but with that puff sleeve, I think this would be absolutely killer in an all white look. I mean, come on guys, how fun is that? Now, shoe, always the question, what shoes do you wear? Because of that pop of black, I might slip on a little black sandal with this. Like with the heel, I think would be absolutely darling. Or go, if you have long legs, go with a fun little slide, or of course you can just do something neutral and easy, maybe with a little bit of texture to it, so something like in a cork or a woven, just to give it a little bit more interest in this look. Hey, can you talk about the fabrication of the trench coat? Yes. And that's a really good question. It's like, uh, 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 not water resistant. Not water resistant, okay. no. It's Lyocell. So, Lyocell, very much like Texel. It's got beautiful drape to it, breathable, gorgeous, gorgeous fabrication, but no gang. This is not like your function. It's pouring cats and dogs, and I'm gonna to try to stay dry. Can't do it for you. Wanna look really chic and wanna have like a perfect layer? And nailed it, done here for sure. So, really great question. Okay, two more fun little tops I wanna to talk about. So this is, if we're talking about that Goldie baby being our most casual, I say this guy gets the award for most versatile. So it's really a cross between a sweatshirt and a t-shirt. This is from Sundry. It's got that great strong shoulder. We saw a bit of this last summer. It is definitely coming back 
for this spring and summer. What I love about this is the shape that it gives. So because it has that banded bottom, it's an easy half tuck. You can dress this guy up with a great pair of trousers or keep it casual with your denim. Again, you know I'm gonna keep going back to it, a great little mix and match. This is another one that I think would be fabulous with that ammo jean because of the proportion play. So strong shoulder, bare arm, wide leg pant. A really nice way to counterbalance that width on the bottom. One of the things that's so important to think about as we go into this new proportions in bottoms is how you're kind of mixing and matching. So I say when it's tight on top, don't go tight on bottom. When it's tight on bottom, go looser on top. Also, I like to think about width. So this wider leg, I like balancing it with something that has a little bit more structure to the top or is just really clean and fitted. So kind of two ways to go there. I think the shoulder on this really helps to balance out that leg and give you some nice kind of hourglass shape to your figure. And then last but not least, sexy date night. Yes, white instead of black. I know it's always our go-to for nights out can be sexy. So done in this beautiful square neckline with ruching on the side in this yummy, yummy drape fabric. This guy is called the Kara Square Neck. If you want to see what this looks like on, check out our hit list reel. So beautiful on. What I think is really nice about this is this time of year when the weather is fluctuating, you're looking for something that has a little bit more coverage, but you still want to turn it up for date night or night out or a girls trip weekend. This is a fun piece to throw in because it's easy to layer. That square neckline is so flattering on so many body types. It skims, but it's not super tight. And a great one that you could pop on. You know I'm gonna bring it out again. That trench coat, uh-huh. Yep, so cute, so fun to wear. What do you wear with this guy? I would go wide leg with this one, again, because of that nice fitted shape. It would be killer with a higher rise, so you can tuck it in. But I also think because of that ruching, this is an easy one to leave out with a pair of denim. Okay, a couple of really fun kind of sneaker pieces that I want to share with you. The first is this great cami. Now, what I love about this is this becomes your more elevated layering piece. So this is from Allison Joy. This is called the Brin Pleated Cami. So beautiful and flattering on in this great cream, that yummy, yummy taupe, and then of course in your black. Now, how to wear this? Well, I love it under a blazer. Absolutely stunning, really chic, can take you from day to night beautifully. Unexpected ways to wear it, pair it back to this vegan jacket. Now you can go monochromatic on this one. Really nice, lightweight in this vegan. Um, stitched placket, stitched sleeve, which I think is so fun. Check out that detail. So much craftsmanship in this guy. Really soft hand on the inside. So sometimes I think with vegan, it can feel real cold on your skin. And I love how they treated the inside of this so it's super, super soft. Make it, keep it open, wear it almost as a blazer with your little cami paired underneath. It would be stunning with this more neutral color just to mix up your palette a little bit and then pop on a fun heel. Also really work friendly as well if you keep that jacket buttoned up just a little bit more. One of my absolute favorite pieces. Another great jacket you can layer on over this if you're looking for more shape definition is this beautiful jacket from level 99. Really important silhouette. This is that fun utility play but done in this yummy, yummy stretch linen. Easy one to wear with that belt and then pop that cami on underneath and so chic, so put together. I also absolutely love this jacket over dresses. It's a great way to give shape to a knitted dress or to your waist. You can leave it open and just tie it a little bit or close it all the way. If you don't believe me, check out our friend Stephanie who did her stories. She popped this on over the Michael Stars ribbed dress and it looked Magnifica. So beautiful. Steph, if you're watching, you looked amazing. Okay. Couple more ideas, and this is going to be kind of our last chapter in neutral before I go into accessories. Let's talk about that one piece dressing. So, be it a jumpsuit, be it a dress, or be it a two piece, it looks like a one piece. We've got great options for you. I'm going to start with the Blakely because this is a huge fan favorite. We had this dress last year for like a hot second and it sold out so fast. 
We had to bring it back in this yummy, yummy cocoa color. I love this, and yes, this is a neutral game. There is a definitely something happening in that brown family, but in such a good way. I love this ruffle because it gives a little bit of arm coverage. I like that it is straight, not tight. So really forgiving, but it has this super uber sexy slit on the side to make it really fun and playful. This is an absolute vacation must have. An easy one to pair back to. Your white denim jacket. Talk about staples. So easy just to slide right on. Absolutely a must have dress. Now, I'm gonna give you a sneak peek. This weekend, in my stories, I'm talking all things one-piece dressing, including jumpsuits and rompers. I held this one out because I knew that I was gonna to wanna to talk about it today to do with neutrals. This is that fabulous Pistola jumpsuit in cream, short sleeve with a roll sleeve. Now, I haven't tried this one on yet. Court, did you try this guy on? Yes. True to size? Yes. True to size, okay. So true to size on this one. Now what I think is different about this than the versions that you're gonna see me wear in my three days, three ways, is this one has a little bit more of a relaxed fit. So <coughs> there are so many ways, excuse me again, so many ways to do jumpsuits and romper shapes. What I think is fun about this one is that it feels a little bit more, I would say, kind of that worker silhouette. So a little bit straighter cut, you still have that really nice open neckline, and I think what counters the absence of a really cinched waist is that you've got some skin showing on your sleeve. Now, what's great about this guy, dress it up, dress it down. Pop on a long sleeve tee underneath and a pair of sneakers, roll the hem, done. Wanna make it a little bit more chic, maybe even going out, open it up, pop your collar, put on a heel, done. Wanna make it work friendly, Layer on a great necklace, a, maybe like a great statement earring. Put on a heel, like that golden Sam Allen heel would be so amazing with this, and done. So many ways to wear this, and in this great cream color, sold. Done and done. One of the best pieces I think we have on the floor right now. Run, don't walk, you gotta get this guy in your closet. <coughs> and last but not least, the idea of a jumpsuit, but mixing it up and putting it into two pieces. We talked a little bit about this with that great Cardi set, but I've got a two-piece set I want to show you. This is from Rails. Now, it is that great gauze fabrication again. V-neck top with that ruffle sleeve and, yep, that wide leg pant. Sorry, guys. <coughs> Tickle in my throat in a major way. Okay, so... V neckline, ruffle sleeve, wide leg pant with pockets, and a great little slit on the hem. What's so fun about this is you can mix and match. I am for sure going to cough again. <coughs> I've got a kid at home with a head cold, and I'm guessing he gave it to me. Darn it. So, smocked waistband. Wear this with a little tank underneath on its own. Wear this top with a fun pair of shorts or a pair of high waisted denim. So great. Or put it together as a set. This is a really fun piece to bring on vacation. You can wear it a million ways, and again, because it's neutral, it's so versatile and so easy to wear. Oh my gosh, I blew through that rack like nobody's business. We gotta talk about accessories though before I sign off because there are so many fun accessories to be had. All right, should we talk bags first? Because I'm super pumped about this brand new line we just got in every called Parker Clay. Now, these bags are made in Ethiopia. They are the most beautiful leather you have ever felt. Now I showed you this one last week where we got some more styles in that you gotta see. So here's that great clutch. I love this ring detail. Space in here for sure, fold it over, carry it full length. So many ways to style a water. Oh my gosh, yes, for sure. You guys are just gonna watch me chug. It's like back in the college days, but clean because it's 10 o'clock. People are loving all the colors. The oh, good, that's so fun. These are so fun. Okay, so Parker Clay, beautiful. I love this for just a takeaway clutch. You can wear it a million ways, right? Okay, a clutch would have maybe a little bit more room and you can wear it in a couple of different ways is this beautiful fold over clutch. Now it comes in two colors. This yummy, yummy, what I'm kind of calling a warm cognac and then black. So 
I'm going to show you maybe just the cognac version just because I think it's easier to see the detail. So similar idea to the last clash, it is a fold over, it has this really fine fringe with a zip, which I love that, right? Feels a little bit more secure. Two inside pockets, really roomy, lined in a beautiful canvas. Now what's great about this guy, wear it as a crossbody. So I'm seeing running around, I'm seeing farmer's markets, I'm seeing exploring, I'm seeing Disney. Let's be honest, I know it's in a lot of your futures right now. But what's really great about this guy too is you can shorten a strap, wear it as a shoulder bag, and then if you want to, take out the straps all together and it becomes your nighttime clutch. So easy, so versatile, and this leather, I cannot say enough good things about this. So many super fans out there for Parker Clay for a good reason. The quality is unbelievable and will only get better with time. Now, two more bags I want to just give a shout out for for Parker Clay. This one is coming home with me. This is the belt bag. Now, I would say similar in space capacity to that fold over crossbody, but a slightly different shape. So wider, right? A little bit more width here, but a smaller size. Now, done as a belt bag, and I need this for LA. This is, I'm gonna be wearing this every day on set for sure, but also super cute as a crossbody. And yes, same on this one. You can remove the strap and then just treat it as a clutch. I love the gold hardware detail. It has a pocket here, which is so nice. And again, that zipper to just give you a little bit more security. Such a beautiful bag, an absolute must have. Love, love, love this bag. And last but not least, if you are looking for a tote that does all the things, look no further, I have found it for you. So, same fabrication, super soft. It's gonna get lived in and loved and worn. Really nice strap length. This is one of my big requirements for a tote. I wanna be able to slip it over my shoulder when I'm wearing a jacket, or if I'm wearing something a little bit heavier, I don't wanna fuss with like trying to force my arm through. Is there anything worse than that? It makes me absolutely bananas. So great shape for this guy, really fun and super soft leather. Now, another prerequisite I always have for totes is a zip top. I want it to be secure, I want to throw all my stuff in there, I don't want anyone to see my mess, but I also want it to feel safe. So a great bag for that, this could be a fun work bag, it's really sturdy, so it will hold your laptop, no doubt, plus all the other things, including 17 Cheerios that somehow found their way to the bottom of your bag. Done and done on that one. And last but not least, shoes. So a great way to bring neutrals into your wardrobe and kind of work them and work them is through footwear. So I showed you this great sneaker I have. There were a bunch of questions about Sorel. Last week I didn't get to that sandal. Here is that kinetic sneaker. I love this version in all white. Could that be any cooler with that little teeny pop of neon? If you are doing Disney, and I know many of you are, this is the shoe you want. Bring this with you on your trip. This sneaker is a 20 hour walking sneaker. I'm telling you, your feet will never get sore. Crazy breathable, really, really comfortable. If they happen to get wet, they dry really fast. One of my favorites, this is what I use when I'm running, running, running with my kids. One of my favorite sneakers out there for sure. Love, love, love this guy. And then from more of that kind of mule category, I've got a couple different, I'm just gonna grab one of each to show. Starting with this fun loafer, this would be a great option for your new work shoe. Little slide, but in this fabulous texture. How cute is that? If you're looking for a little bit more of a heel, new shoe from Dolce Vita, two fun details here. That great stud and then this really fun wood. And last but not least is the braid. So, this braided and knotted detail is so important and then done in a little bit of a lift to the mule is so darn cute. I love this from Mark Fisher. Can't go wrong with any of these, so darn fun. We covered a lot of territory today. That was a lot of neutrals from shirts to sweaters to dresses to jumpsuits to sweatshirts to jeans to accessories. Ah, we got it all. So take away, we need some neutrals in our closet. Go out and get some. It's a perfect way to usher in spring. You can mix them, you can match them, you can have a ton of fun. No rules on this one, just what makes you feel good. Thanks so much everyone, and we will see you next week. Take care.